Hello, uh, quick video. My last one, I uh, talked about my uh, Culp and Plow I put on a Grizzly, and something I thought of afterwards that I didn't think of again until someone commented was how I mounted it, because it is a universal mount. And the funny thing was, in the directions, um, they showed how to mount it to a players, um, I don't know, a couple other bikes. Hi, Harley. Um, but they didn't show how to mount it in a grizzly. Um, so I had figured it out for myself. Wasn't that hard, though. Um, so I'll take you along, show you right quick what I had to do. Okay. Bear with me, get down on the floor. <clears throat> All right, what I had to do was, you can see, I had to remove my uh, skid plate from here. Now, maybe there was a way to mount it without this, without removing the skid plate. Probably have to drill some holes or stuff, but the way I looked at it was, um, this bike's not going to see no bog or nothing until the spring. The most it's going to see is yard work and uh, plowing, so I'm not worried about undercarriage. Okay, so, I don't know how well you can see there, but... Um, we try to set guys up. Okay, could have been late there somewhere. Okay. All right, the kit comes with a few pieces because obviously it's universal. Um. So, oh, it's kind of hard to see. Um, but I only had to use the one piece, and I put it around the framework right behind my A arms here. That was the only place I really could find a place to put it. Um, like I said, right behind the A-arms. Uh, yeah. I don't know how uh, good that really explains it. These were a fucker to put on. 13 mil, but god damn. So much threading. Um, these pins. That's what came with it. I'm gonna f uh, change this out to the, I don't know what they're called, but they're like two inches long with the clip attached to them. A lot easier to take those out. Um, yeah, not quite sure what else to tell you. Um, so, like I said, um, removed skid plate and I just had, went around the framework right behind the A-arm um, yeah, bolted it up. It really it took no time. Well, you know, it took a bit of time because that's a lot of threading, but to figure out how to do it didn't take very long at all. But, uh, over my two days ago, maybe, somebody I know had bought the same kit, but they messed up and bought it for a side by side. And he ended up, uh, I'm so tired, I just got off work, sorry. Um, he's got a 500 Honda or something like that. And he bought the UTV kit. Um, but, we made it work. Um, mounted the same way. So, just so you know, ATV and UTV kit, nothing was really no difference. It all looked the same. Only thing was the UTV, you could go from 60 to 72 inches, and this one's 48 to 60, so. Yeah. That's it. Cheerio.